new study on so-called magic mushrooms has yielded good results for individuals who are suffering from depression that does not get cured through traditional methods. Now, uh, this was a small study of 12 patients, but it adds to mounting evidence indicating that magic mushrooms could lead to a possible solution for those who are suffering from severe depression. Now, uh, according to the research, of 12 patients given the drug, all showed some decrease in symptoms of depression for at least three weeks. Seven, though, continued to show a positive response at three months. Five remained in remission beyond the three months. Okay? Wow. Now, one of the researchers behind this, uh, who's from Imperial College London, says, but we shouldn't get carried away with these results. This isn't a magic bullet. We're just learning how to do this treatment. Keep in mind that the World Health Organization estimates that some 350 million people worldwide are affected by depression, a common mental disorder characterized by sadness, loss of interest or pleasure, tiredness, feelings of guilt or low self-worth, disturbed sleep and appetite, and poor concentration. So wow. it could really run amok on your life. Yeah, I mean, this this is one of the areas in which you're actually able to conduct this research. I think later on we might get into an area where they want to stop uh, scientists from conducting this research. But it is, it's pretty amazing the stuff that's just sitting out there waiting for us to discover could cure something that is not only extremely widespread. I mean, you, you referenced 350 million uh, people. I would assume that it's probably actually higher than that. There's probably yeah. some difficulties in measuring it. But that is extremely detrimental, that, that, that can take away the satisfaction that you get from life, can cause people to take their own lives. Mm -hmm. And the idea that something that's out there that could be replicated, that doesn't necessarily have to cost an insane amount of money, could be a treatment for it is, is awesome. It's so incredibly important to explore options other than what we have available right now, especially because for some antidepressants uh, that are on the market that are sold to us by pharmaceutical companies work, but there are some serious side effects yes. to them. And those side effects could run amok on your life. And so to have this option um, is really important. Now, I'm not saying that this is the magic bullet. I think it's important to continue researching it, continue studying it, and see what the potential risks can be. But at the same time, I can say from personal experience with experimenting with magic mushrooms, it helped my life. And mm. I I've talked about it more openly on the show recently because I think it's important to share these anecdotal stories. Now, again, it's just anecdotal. This is not a scientific study. This is just me and my personal life. But, you know, there were things that I was struggling with, and... I did not take magic mushrooms thinking that it would solve my issues by any means. I did it because I wanted to have fun and experiment. But what I experienced was very interesting. It's like a, a, almost like a self-awareness that I was not even expecting hmm. and an appreciation for things that you take for granted. That's what I had. But there are cases where people might take too much and it could lead to paranoia. It could lead to a bad trip. So again, this is not an endorsement of you experimenting with it. It's just some information about what could possibly happen should we perfect uh, the right dosage for it.